Good afternoon, my name is Joshua Okayo. I am a student undertaking my advocate's training program at the Kenya School of Law and also the president of the Student Governing Council at that institution. I have been very actively participating in uh, the protests that we've seen in the past two months. And I remember on 18th of June, I met Advocate Wakili um, Willis here. We were actually with him on the street. And uh, it appears to me that uh, this was history writing itself. I got abducted on 26th of June and was released. Or rather, when I realized that I was released, that was 28th of June. <laughs> Because I found myself at the bank of Maragua River in Moranga. So today I'm here in solidarity with the families, friends, relatives and everyone else who are related to our um, brothers and sisters who have since gone um, missing but have not been found. I am here because this speaks to me. I am here because I identify with the case in question right now. Why it not for efforts like this? Why it not for such pressure? Probably I would have been found dead. Sometimes I sit down and reflect and I see the more reason why I should also fight for other people. The way my friends and the whole nation fought for me and they ensured that they remembered my name so that they, they, they released me. So at this juncture, remember their names, remember Jackie's name, remember everyone's name. And I would encourage Kenyans to all push for the release of these people. And to William Ruto, the young people are on your case. We are on your case. You have seen people going around, um, around the country exposing fraud, exposing theft and corruption. That is just a process to ultimately get you out of office. It might take time, it might be slow, but I can promise, promise you, ultimately, ultimately, the voices of the people of Kenya shall reign supreme. I want to say, Paul, to the uh, you know families because I, I, I know how this affects families when I was abducted and it was now two days my family members were in distress they were moving everywhere calling all my friends trying to find out where I was they could do nothing. They, I mean, they, and, and, and you know the problem is that we have a generation that believes we are very powerless to the extent that a president cannot be called by name. We have to change our view and we have to avoid this self-aggrandizement that has been, um, you know, the impression of, of, of self-importance that has been sold to us and we have to call everything as it is. So I'm here because this is very painful and if I remember that I was once in such an, uh, a situation, I feel very sad. Thank you.